Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjaliyamal Mahalingam Engineering College, Kovil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on the subject Design of Transmission System. This is lecture number 9.3. In this lecture, we are going to solve problems in the design of multi-speed gearbox using the PSG Design Data Book. In the earlier lecture, we discussed the design procedure of the multi-speed gearbox using the PSG Design Data Book. The learning outcome to the students. At the end of the lecture, the student will be able to design the multi-speed gearbox using the PSG Design Data Book. I request the students to listen to the procedure and the problem solving method and uh, you take your problem on your own and uh, solve the problem using the procedure because when, once you solve the problem using the procedure you will get the confidence and you can complete the problem within the 30 minutes of time so normally in the university examination uh, or any problem the time available maximum 20 to 30 minutes so within that you have to solve so we require speed so we have to solve with the uh, uh, um, quickly we have to solve the problem so that you will complete the problem uh, all the five problem in the subject the first example from May 2008 question paper so in this lecture we are going to discuss the six speed gearbox we will solve two problems on the six speed gearbox sketch the arrangement of a six speed gearbox the minimum and the maximum speeds required are 460 and 1400 rpm derive the speed Drive speed is 1440 rpm. Construct the speed diagram of the gearbox. Obtain various reduction ratios. Use standard output speed and standard step ratio. Calculate the number of teeth in each gear and verify whether the actual output speeds are within plus or minus 2 percentage of the standard speed. So, the write down the given data. So, number of steps is that equal to 6. And the minimum speed 460 rpm, maximum speed 1400 rpm, and motor speed is 1440 rpm. So, first step you have to calculate the progression ratio. The 5 value is n max maximum speed by minimum speed to the power 1 by z minus 1. Substituting 1400 divided by 460 to the power 1 by 6 minus 1 equal to 1.25. Now, we have to take the standard progression ratio from R40 series. So, in R40 series, 1.25 is available. It is R40 by 5. So, this is the R40 series. So, on the table, preferred number table is available in the page number 7.20. There are 40 values of R40 series. So, 41, in fact, it is 40. We start from here. So, 1 to 10, 11 to 20. 21 to 30, 31 to 40 and 41. So, the value is like this 1.00, 1.06, 1 1.12. It goes like that and it ends with 10.0. Now, when the value, when you want to select the speed from the R40 series, you have to go back to the here, number 1. So, we read here 10 and again this is also 10. We have to multiply by 10. So, 10, 10.6, 11.2, 11.8, 12.5, 13.2, and like that you have to read and here it is 90, 95 and 100. Then once again if you want to take the value higher speed more than 100 then go back here 100, 106, 112, 118, 125, 132, 140. Like that you have to proceed and coming to the bottom of the table 900, 950 and 1000. Then once again, you have to repeat. So, like that, you have to repeat the calculation. So, this is 1000 again, 1060, 1120, 1180, 1250, 1320, 1400, 1500, 1600. You have to go like this. So, this is 9500 and 10000. So, that is what, that is how you have to read the value from the R40 series. Now, here in our first example, the progression ratio is 7.25. I marked with the blue color. This is the progression ratio, standard progression ratio. 
so we have to count so 1 2 3 4 5 r40 by 5 so what is the r what is the meaning r40 is the series and the slash 5 it is the number that, that we pay now we have to select the standard speed how to select the standard speed we have to start from the minimum speed so minimum speed in the problem is 450 and maximum speed is 1400 so i put a star here so this is 450 we have to read as 450 475 500 530 like that so this is 450 so r40 by 5 so starting from here 1 2 3 4 5 so next speed is 560 then again 1 2 3 4 5 next speed is 710 then 1 2 3 4 5 900 1 1 2 3 4 5 600 then you have to go 106 So three, four, five, thousand, hundred and twenty. One, two, three, four, five, thousand, four hundred. So four fifty, five sixty, seven ten, nine hundred, thousand, hundred and twenty, thousand, four hundred. These are all the six different speeds from the R forty series. Now number of stages equal to two, and the structural formula selected is two by three. And this is the standard speed R forty by five. N one, N two, N three up to N six. Four fifty, five sixty. Seven ten nine hundred thousand hundred and twenty thousand four hundred. Then we have to draw the structural formula. So the procedure, what we discussed earlier, for plotting the structural diagram, the following steps may be followed. Draw u plus one. So u is the number of stages. So u plus one equal to two plus one equal to three vertical lines at a convenient distance from each other. Draw array of horizontal lines intersecting the vertical lines at a distance of log phi equal to log of one point two phi from each other. You need not to calculate log of 1.25 and the use of scale. You just draw horizontal line at equal distance, and you mark log 1.25. The number of horizontal lines equal to number of steps, number of speeds. Suppose it is a six-speed gear bus, you will get six horizontal lines. The number of gears on one shop should not generally more than three, but in some exceptional cases it may be four. So this is the Structural diagram: N1, N2, N3, N4, N5, N6. You have to draw three vertical lines, six horizontal lines. You have to write the speed here: N1, N2, N3, N4, N5, N6. And this is the driven shaft. This is the shaft two, and this is the driver shaft. Driver shaft for the gearbox. And the gap here is log phi, log of 1.25. So this is the first step. You have to draw the structural diagram. That gives the uh, information about number of gears on each shaft. Then we go to the procedure for to draw the speed chart or the ray diagram. Draw vertical lines one greater than the structural diagram. Draw horizontal lines intersecting the vertical lines at a convenient distance. From R40 series, we take the minimum speed closest to the value given in the problem and write the value n1, n2 up to n6. So this we have taken. The number of horizontal lines is determined by the following manner. If now here our n6 equal to 1400, which is less than 1440, so draw z number of horizontal lines. So that is, we have to draw one more line here. The speed chart. The speed chart is give the speed chart give information about the transmission ratio of all transmissions and speed value for each gearbox shaft. The line joining the points at the adjacent shaft indicate the transmission ratio. If a line is horizontal, I equal to one. That is, there is no change in the speed. If the line is inclined upward, I is greater than one. That is, speed is increases. If the line is inclined downward, I is less than one. The speed decreases. Restriction for the transmission: I max less than or equal to two. Maximum transmission is two, and I minimum. Greater than or equal to 0.25, and the minimum speed reduction is limited to four to keep the radial dimensions of the gearbox within the limit, and the maximum increase in the speed is limited to two times due to the limitation of the pitch line velocity. Now this is the speed chart or the ray diagram. We take the one more vertical line because motor speed is given in the problem. Suppose motor speed is not given, this vertical line is not recorded. So this line is not recorded. We can Restrict with only three lines, and uh, these are all the speed value. Once again, we have to write. Now we have to calculate the the transmission ratio. So for here, now always output speed by input speed. So 450 divided by 560. So 450 by 560 equal to one by 
and the horizontal line there is no change in the speed 560 one is the transmission ratio for increasing the speed 710 divided by 560 1.27 and similarly here 1120 minus uh, divided by 900 equal to 1 by 1.24 here it is 1.25 it is horizontal line 1 and here from 900 to 1120 1 1.24 from 900 to 560 reduction 1 by 1.61 these are all the transmission ratio now once we calculate the actual transmission ratio then we have to change the transmission ratio to the standard value then only we can take number of teeth otherwise we have to do the huge calculation we can take the number of teeth from the PSG descent data book so we modify the standard transmission ratio in the next diagram and this is the speed chart or ray diagram with the standard speed ratio so the so this is the value we have 1.26 and 1.58 so the values are changed 1.61 is changed to 1.58 all 1.24 1.25 are changed to 1.27 1 everything changed to 1.26 that is the standard transmission ratio available in the PSG design data book and these values are available in the page number 8.3 to 8.12 to 8.12 in fact now we have to for the actual transmission ratio so we have the we have written the speed and we have drawn the motor speed next higher speed is 1800 rpm and 1440 rpm we have to reduce from 1440 to 900 outside the gearbox it may be by gear drive or some other uh, chain drive or the belt drive depending on the transmission ratio and the space available now for the actual transmission ratio we have to calculate the speed corrected speed so the 900 there is no change because from here uh, it is 900 so there is no change in the 900 value now for 1.26 for this 1.26 so this is 900 so 1900 into 1.26 equal to 1134 now 900 divide by 1.58 equal to 569.6 instead of 560 it will be 569.6 instead of 1120 this will be 1134 then this speed n3 so it is transmitted from n2 to n3 so 569.6 into 1.26 equal to 717.6 instead of 710 it will be 717.6 and the here uh, 1134 into 1 1.26 equal to 1429 instead of 1400 it will be running at 1429 similarly here 569.6 five, divided by 1.26 equal to 452 instead of 450 it will be running at 452 now the standard speed actual speeds are 452 569.6 717.6 900 1134 1429 these are all the actual speeds in the shaft output shaft then we have to calculate so n1 n2 n3 all the value what is the percentage of change so 450 these are all the original speed 450 560 710 900 1120 1400 this is all the actual speed or the correct speed 452 569.6 717.7 900 1134 1429 now percentage of change percentage of change equal to 452 minus 450 divided by 450 into 100 that is the calculation 452 minus 450 divided by 450 uh, for example it is 2 by 450 into 100 equal to 0.44 percentage and similarly here 569.6 minus 560 divided by 560 into 100 1.7 percentage and here it is 1.08 percentage 0 percentage 1.25 percentage and 2.07 percentage so the actual speed is within the plus or minus 2 percentage that is what the check so in the problem it is given that you have to check for the uh, variation of the speed it is within the 2 point plus or minus 2 percentage then the standard speed and number of teeth so this is available in the page number 8.6 to 8.12 so driver shaft to the shaft to 2 so one point there are two transmission ratio 1.58 and 1.26 we have to use 14 is to 22 that is one wheel driving wheel so we have to increase the speed ratio so depending on the increase or decrease the speed ratio we have to change the number of teeth so the total number of teeth should be 36 equal 
So, 14 is to 22, 16 is to 20, this is taken from the table and similarly in the dry shaft 2 to driven shaft, you have 2 ratios, 1.26 and 1, so 15 is to 19 and 17 is to 17. So, when there is no change in the speed, 17 is to 17, when there is increasing or decrease in the speed, 15 is to 19, so the total is 34. Then we have to draw the kinematic arrangement. So, this is the kind of driver shaft, this is the middle shaft or shaft 2 and the driven shaft. So, Z1, Z2. So, we said, so look at the calculation, 16 is to 20, 14 is to 22. So, 16, 20, uh, 14, 22. So, what will happen? When there is a number of it is less, so this, when this is running at a, a 900 RPM, this will be running at a higher speed. So, what is the higher speed? 900. So, what is the higher speed? 1000. We can look at the speed chart. So, 900, 1134. So, 1134 is the speed. So, now it, is, it will be running 1134. The speed ratio is increased by 1.26. Then, similarly here, this is 14 and 22. The speed on the shaft 2 will be reduced to 569.6. So, this is 1.1 by 1.58. And now, there are two speeds available in the shaft 2 and you have to multiply by 3. For every input speed, there will be 2. 3 or uh, 2 or uh, 3 output speed for example so this is actually this is the condition z1 plus z2 equal to z3 plus z4 equal to 36 so the then only we can dist keep the distance equal so between the two shafts we can keep the distance equal when you when you maintain this condition similarly next we have to calculate we have to take the speed z5 equal to 17 z6 equal to 17 one is to one is the speed ratio and we have 15, 19, the ratio will be reduced 1 by 1.26. So, the speed will be reduced. And when you have 1.26, 19, 15. So, look at here. So, that is the idea of changing the speed ratio to the standard value. So, we can interchange the deal. So, 19, 15. Uh, so, here it is 15, 19. Here it is 19, 15. When you have 15, 19, the speed will decrease. When you have 19, 15, the speed will increase by 1.26. And here the speed will decrease by 1.26. So, this is the kinematic arrangement. Now, we can find out the number of teeth. So, all the number of teeth are shown here. So, Z1 equal to 20, Z2 equal to 16, Z3 equal to 14, Z4 equal to 22. So, this uh, table, in the table, is in the drawing itself, we have to show all the number, all the number of teeth. So, the, we will not write it again in a table. So, this is enough for solving the problem. So, first, we have to draw the structural diagram. Second, we have to draw the speed diagram. Then standardize this transmission ratio use the, using the uh, PAC data book and then you can calculate the uh, number of teeth and uh, draw the kinematic arrangement. So, these are all three steps to solve the problem. So, we stop here. So, we will solve another problem in the next lecture in the gear 6 speed gearbox design. These are all the books I published in the mechanical engineer subject and I upload the video lectures of uh, uh, the subjects mentioned here in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the YouTube channel, use the videos, video lectures for your better preparation and uh, to get a higher mark in the uh, examination and any competitive examination. So, thank you for watching. Uh, you please post your comments on the comments box. If you have any queries, you contact me. I will clarify all your doubts. So, thank you very much. We will meet again in the next lecture with another problem on the 6-speed gearbox.